Hi, thank you so much. Um, I'm really touched to be here again with all of you. And although we cannot, you can see me, but I can't see you, I can still feel that we're connected as we come together to do a meditation. And this is such the season for a meditation on nature. So that's what we're going to be doing in different ways today. Um, and I also would like to mention, sometimes it's helpful to do something like light a candle or burn incense or sage, open a window for a soft breeze, any of these things that bring us deeper into ourselves and remind us of nature. And we do this to support our practice. And also, we do it to mark this as a very special and separate time from any other time. A time when we can go deep within and reap the benefits of that. So I'm going to allow a little bit of time now in case anybody wants to adjust their environment or light a candle or anything. And then we'll begin. And in the meantime, the rest of us are just breathing. Something so simple in a way that we don't have to think about it. Yet amazingly, we are being breathed all the time. That's what makes us alive. So just allowing yourself to feel where you are in time and space. And if you're in a chair, you could imagine, if you like, that your back is against a tree so that you can feel the energy of the tree going up your spine. And we can just breathe into that and out with that. If you're lying down and you're not outside, you can imagine that you are lying outside somewhere where you really like to be. And there's such a relief in just lying down on the ground. And if it makes you more comfortable, imagine a very nice memory foam kind of um, pad underneath you. So wherever you are, find yourself nestled in nature. This time of spring is so growthful. All the plants spreading out their leaves. The flowers popping up like jewels. The birds flying. The butterflies alighting on a leaf. You may even feel yourself relaxing as you visit this in your mind. And one of my teachers said that the most sacred manuscript is nature, more sacred than any book, which is interesting to contemplate. It is an ever-changing 
landscape out there. Spring can be a time of waking up. and of the elements softening and allowing us to be outside. So just notice your breath. What is it doing? We can especially notice this at the point of where we breathe in at the nose, the inhalation and the exhalation. As we are breathed. By we know not what. Notice how your body feels. You can kind of scan it from above the top of your head, slowly moving like honey, the attention going through your entire body. This being in our bodies is very important. I know for me, most of the time, I'm unaware that I'm in a body, except for when I wake up. And can you notice the feeling of gravity acting upon your entire body? A sense of being weighted down to earth. We can let go of any tensions and let gravity have them. You may find that your body feels heavier on the surface that it's on. Without gravity, we would be flying around. So we can be grateful to gravity for allowing us to be here. And your breathing. And notice any places in your body where you feel some relaxation. A letting go of the holding that is such a part of our daily lives. It can feel very nurturing.
And you can even imagine a soft breeze, if you like, or the sun directly giving you its warmth. And all you're doing is breathing. In and out. Out in nature. And if for some reason it is hard or impossible for you to do this visualization, if you are at a difficult place in your life emotionally, just let it all go. Just being here, aware and awake in the present moment is our goal. We can all thank ourselves for bringing us to this experience, whatever it may be. You may even imagine the sky clouds, the birds flying or singing, squirrels running around, the waves of the lake coming toward the shore, and just allow yourself to ride the currents of your experience. Resting. And maybe you even want to sigh a few times. And just let your body express and let go of whatever you have been carrying. Breathing in, we breathe fresh life. Breathing out. We let tension go. And I feel us all connected. doing this practice. And now we're going to do a practice called the Elemental Purification Breath. It comes through one of the lineages of Sufi teachings. And it is a way that we can fairly quickly wash ourselves, refresh ourselves after something's been difficult, a way to come back to center as well. <laughs> Excuse me. So the first breath that we use is the earth breath. And that is in through the nose and out through the nose, 
just breathing naturally for five repetitions. So whenever you're ready and each of us at our own pace, we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And we do that four more times. And as we do that, imagine that you draw the energy and magnetism of the earth up into you. It circulates through your subtle energy systems and replenishes and renews the vitality and strength of your body. So we can continue doing some more earth breaths just to get familiar with it. In through the nose, out through the nose, no holding the breath. Washing ourselves with the energies of earth. Energizing ourselves. Receiving new life. Good. We'll come back to this. And the next breath is cleansing ourselves with the element of water. This breath is breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can envision a waterfall of pure, clear energy pouring down into you from above flowing through you and dissolving anything within you that might block the flow of life energy moving through you. With each bath, you are washed and clear as the stream of energy and light flows through you. So let's work with the water breath now. Simply just breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And we will do that at least five times. And you can notice how that has a different energy than the earth breath. How it really can feel like you're being rinsed with a wonderful energy. And next comes purification through fire. We sip air in through the mouth, almost like you're sipping from a straw. And then release the air through the nostrils. So in through the mouth, out through the nose. Let's try this at least five times. In through the earth, out through the nose, fire.
you can even imagine a fire in your belly as you sip the air in and it comes out. Through the nose. Where we live here on earth, our existence depends upon the great fire of the sun. Everything we do needs this heat. Excuse me. The intense activity of fire draws the plants up from earth and within our bodies enables us to metabolize food. Fire lights our way and our ideas are transformed with light. Fire is brilliant, supercharged with penetrating warmth. See if you can feel that. And if you are having trouble learning these breaths, please do not worry about it. I had difficulty when I started. But nonetheless, energy is flowing and something is happening. And notice how the fire breath feels different from the earth and the water. And now we're going to purify ourselves with air. And this breath is in through the mouth and out through the mouth. Can you hear the wind in the trees fanning through pine needles? Can you see the trees moving in the wind? Can you feel the breeze, the air on your skin? Air moves in mysterious ways. So let's work with that for at least five breaths, breathing in the mouth and out the mouth at a very relaxed pace. Last is the ether breath, which is very subtle and very refined, like an energy, more than something physical. And for this, we breathe in the nose and out the nose, although you will barely feel the air moving through your body. So it's very light. Let's try that for at least five times.
Zo staan de rand. Good. Now, I just want you to notice how you feel, what you may be thinking, how your body feels, emotionally, however you feel, and notice do you feel different than before these breaths? And it's fine if you don't know. These practices are called practices because the more we practice them, the deeper we can sink into them. So just relax, you've been concentrating and just feel your breath. Always rejoicing when you remember to turn your attention back to the breathing. Good, you can say to yourself, good. And you're breathing. Maybe you feel peaceful. Now I would like for us to try to put the breaths all together so that you get the feeling of the entire practice, which you can do at any time. You feel it would be helpful. So I will just say the element and what the breathing is and then leave time for us to do at least five breaths. So starting with earth, in the nose and out the nose, five times. Feeling the energies of the earth passing through us. Now water, breathing in the nose and out the mouth, filling ourselves cleansed and rinsed by the energy of water.
Next, fire, sipping the air in through the mouth and breathing out through the nose, feeling the energy of fire purifying us. Next is air, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, feeling our salts cleansed by the air element. And lastly, we will do the ether breath, which is very subtle and refined. In through the nose, out through the nose, barely feeling air moving through your body. Good, you have now done the elemental purification breaths. And there's been some work in this of learning something new. So I would like now for us just to relax any effort and be aware of the sounds where you are. And be aware of how your body feels leaned against the surfaces that you are on. Can you feel how you are held up? And let's just feel our breath moving in and out of our body. Gratitude for the breath.
that moves in so many ways. Gratitude for this time together to practice with each other's support. Breathing. Resting. Knowing that we are right where we're supposed to be in this moment. Doing sacred practices which affect our consciousness in a very positive way. We have about five minutes left together. And I would like to assist you in coming out of your meditation, although you can keep meditating, and heighten your awareness of the present moment. Where are you? Letting each in-breath bring renewal. Returning attention to your body and how it feels. Paying attention to your heart and what your heart may be saying to you. Breathing in, feeling refreshed with energy to go on into the day. Thank you so much for being with me as we did this practice together. Without you, it would not have been the same. I feel my gratitude for your presence here. And my gratitude for my own presence here. Life is really so precious. So, maybe sitting up or changing position and starting to come toward the here and now. But the effects of this meditation can stay with us. We have only to think of it.
Namaste. I honor the light within all of us.